Biomimicry is the practice of learning from and then emulating nature's genius. We're very used to learning about nature. Biomimicry turns it around and says, what can we learn from nature? How can we take that learning and apply it to our own designs so that we ourselves start to emulate that genius that we see in nature? And one of my favorite examples is how we've learned from the tuna fish. So we're going to go back into a school, this time a school of the wild, a school of the tuna fish. And we're going to look at nature with the lens of biomimicry. This creature has got a very specific shape to it. This shape we find in all very fast moving fish. And fast moving fish are highly efficient at converting the energy of movement into propelling themselves forward. A researcher called Dr. Tim Finnegan decided to turn this idea around. What if we try to tap the energy in currents in rivers and in waves and in the ocean and use that type of high conversion efficiency into generating electricity or energy? Now this particular system can turn into wherever the current is to convert that into electricity at that very high conversion efficiency. He's also looked at things like the sea fan to tap wave energy. Now the sea fan moves beautifully in the waves of the ocean. His systems can turn into wherever the waves are and can lie down if there's a storm to prevent them from being damaged. He's also learned from kelp how to attach these to the floors of the rivers and the oceans. Kelps have a number of thin strands that attach themselves to the ocean very effectively and instead of us using large amounts of concrete to do this, we can now use these very small, what he calls bio mooring systems that mimic the kelp. So combined we have this really efficient, really effective energy capturing system. And there's up to 80,000 terawatts of energy abundantly available in our rivers and our oceans around us. And we could be tapping it in this way. So this is just one example. There's actually 10 million species out in nature. All of them, consummate designers and architects and engineers, already having solved many of the challenges we're trying to solve. All of them we can learn from to design our own products, processes and systems. Yeah.